This morning, new developments in a deadly shooting at a Madison convenience store. The suspect who's facing charges. My heart goes out to the families enduring the unimaginable grief of losing a loved one. Plus, another deadly school shooting will tell you when charges could be filed in Michigan. Rain and snow is falling in Wisconsin, and it's falling right now. We're going to tell you who's seeing what in the first warrant forecast. Good Wednesday morning, everyone. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Breider. Leah Linscheid is on vacation. She'll return on Monday. 29-year-old Trayvon Adams is now officially charged with the first-degree homicide for his alleged involvement in a deadly shooting at the Milwaukee Street Quick Trip over the weekend in the town of Blooming Grove. According to a criminal complaint, several eyewitnesses say they saw Adams shoot a man in the parking lot, then steal his vehicle. That led to a police chase. Stop sticks used by police who had to ram the vehicle to make it come to a stop on East Washington Avenue. Officers say Adams then got out and ran, still armed with a gun at that point. A police canine released and bit into Adams, bringing the chase to an end. Adams also facing a handful of other charges as well. State Democrats are introducing a new bill they say will fix a loophole in the state's gun laws for children. It's in response to the Kyle Rittenhouse trial and how the one inch gun barrel size led to dropping one illegal gun possession charge. The new bill would preserve the ability for minors to use guns for hunting, target shooting and other supervised activities. It's adding some clarifying language, though, that this law only applies when they're actually doing those things. As it stands, state law bans minors from carrying guns with an exception for guns with barrel sizes of 16 inches or more for the purpose of hunting. This is what was used by the judge to drop additional charges against Kyle Rittenhouse. It was, frankly, uh, an oversight, something that folks didn't realize um, would or could happen. Um, so I see this more as a technical fix. And frankly, much of the work that we do in the Capitol building is updating and bringing our statutes um, in line with the realities that we are experiencing. Republicans in the Assembly nor the Senate commented on if they would support the fix. Senator Melissa Agard of Madison, one of the bill's authors, says they worked with the nonpartisan state attorneys to draft the legal fix. They believe the decision in the Rittenhouse's case sets a dangerous legal precedent. Right now, investigators in Oakland County, Michigan, are searching for a motive in the latest school shooting. This morning, at least three students are dead. Others are in critical condition. Officials say the gunman fired at least a dozen rounds, hitting 10 students and one teacher. Police say the 15-year-old suspect posted pictures that shows he had practiced with the semi-automatic handgun. The suspect, who was taken into custody at the school, is not speaking to authorities. The person that's got the most inside of the motive is not talking. Preliminary investigation revealed that the weapon used in the shooting was purchased on November 26th, four days ago, by the boy's father. This morning, officials are downplaying recent rumors of a threat, but say they are following up on tips. The Oakland County prosecutor says she will file charges quickly and we should get an update sometime today. When that happens, we'll be sure to push it out through the Channel 3000 mobile app. You can download it today in your app store. 603 right now. We've been seeing some flakes flying across the 608 this morning. Chris Reese is here with your certified most accurate forecast. Yes, we have. We've been watching this wintry mix since we told you about it yesterday when it was over parts of Canada. Now it's over the upper Midwest and in particular right here in Wisconsin. Now right here in Madison, we've seen our flakes of snow come through. But now we're starting to warm up and a couple of sprinkles are getting ready to move in from the north and west. It's just north of Madison. Where we're actually seeing more of the actual snowflake activity start to come down. But even then, it's a real small, it's very fine snowflake. It's not necessarily a big deal. In fact, you're looking at our sky cameras and we're hard pressed to actually find anything showing up. The reason for that. The temperature is 36. The dew point is 19. Your humidity only at about 50%. The farther apart the temperature and dew point are, the drier the air is. You really want to see this humidity beyond 70% for stuff to actually make it to the ground. So most of what's come through has evaporated, but even my own eyes this morning have witnessed a couple of flakes coming down outside. 37 in Janesville right now, 35 in the Dells, 30 in Watoma. Whatever is coming down further north, it may be sticking to the ground just a bit. But further south, we are warming things up above freezing, and that's going to help transition anything over to rain. But really, it's going to help keep those roads in good shape as you head out today. 1030, we're at 40. 
330, we're at 50. That is where I expect the temperatures to top out. We're only into the 40s for your overnight lows tonight, and then we're up into the low 50s for your highs tomorrow as well, and that's going to come with more sunshine being into the mix. Here's the deal. Our upper air pattern keeps us warm for this week. We're colder by Friday and Saturday, even colder for early next week, and this setup that I'm watching into early next week is one that has the potential to bring some snow our way. I'm watching one that's on the table for perhaps Sunday, though we're seeing a little bit of a trend that we're going to talk about here in about 10 minutes, and then perhaps another one into Tuesday that I'm keeping a very close eye on. So at around 615, we're going to take a deeper look into how things are shaping up when it comes to Sunday and Tuesday. We're going to show you all the model trends, but for now, once this mix moves out, we'll keep some of that cloud cover around up to 50, 52 tomorrow with a lot of sun, and then that cold front comes through, making us colder for Friday and Saturday. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. 6.05 now. Today, people across the globe are recognizing World AIDS Day. McKenna Alexander joins us to share how local medical experts are looking back on the past four decades since the disease was first found. Good morning, McKenna. Yeah, good morning. HIV specialists at UW Health say today is a day to remember the lives lost, making up 6 million deaths across the globe and over 700,000 here in the U.S. However, they say today is also a day to celebrate the progress that's been made. A disease that was almost a death sentence has been transformed into a chronic, manageable, and controlled disease uh, in our lifetime. A remarkable feat. Siraj says alongside this reflection and celebration, we must also commit ourselves to a future of finding a cure, as well as minimizing gaps between minorities and equitable health care and disease management. Today's the 33rd year of recognizing World AIDS Day. McKenna, thank you very much. Dr. Oz is running for U.S. Senate in the state of Pennsylvania. The cardiothoracic surgeon and television personality's announcement came in an op-ed published Tuesday in the conservative Washington Examiner. Oz running as a Republican, his interest in the Senate race first reported earlier this year in the Washington Free Beacon and Politico. He joins a primary field that already has two other GOP candidates. The winner is going to go on to succeed retiring Republican Senator Pat Toomey. A former Trump White House official is cooperating with the investigation into the U.S. Capitol riots. Ex-Chief of Staff Mark Meadows has agreed to appear for an initial interview before the House Select Committee. His lawyer says he's also providing records. The move should stave off a possible criminal contempt vote from the committee against Meadows. CNN anchor Chris, Chris Cuomo has been suspended from the network indefinitely. It follows the New York Attorney General's office releasing transcript describing Chris's involvement in his brother's defense. In a statement from a CNN spokesperson, they say that it's clearly against the network's rules. They appreciate that Cuomo chose family over work, but because of his involvement, he will be suspended pending further evaluation. Time right now, 6.08 on a Wednesday morning and just ahead after hundreds of packages were found dumped in a ravine by a delivery worker, what the company is doing about it. Plus, sports betting in Wisconsin, the one casino in the state you can place your bets. Menards has the tools you need to complete your projects. Stocked and ready to go. Known for innovative designs and affordable prices, Works provides the power and ease you need to get the job done right. Power share batteries are long-lasting and will make sure the job gets done. Check out our selection of Works 20-volt power share cordless tools. This drill and driver combo is $69.99 after rebate. Plus, a Menards gift card is always a great gift idea. Steinhoffel's Black Friday sale has been extended. Last chance to save big and get great deals like this entertainment console, only $249. This sofa, now only $599. Or a queen bed for just $749. This five-piece dining set, $849. Get a free power base when you buy a Serta Perfect Sleeper King or Queen mattress. Get these great deals and more during Steinhoffel's Black Friday extended sale. Only at Steinhoffel's and Steinhoffel's.com. Chevy is taking people lots of places this holiday. We're going shopping! 
We're going to find the perfect tree. We're going to Nana. Let your Chevy dealer take you there with Chevy Red Tags, where the price you see is the price you pay. Happy holiday from Chevy. Find new places, find new roads. Very well qualified buyers may also be eligible to get 2.49% financing plus $1,000 cash allowance on this Silverado. And you may qualify for $500 bonus cash on most Silverado 1500 crew cab pickups when you find your red tag. There's been much debate about the Mona Lisa smile. Would it have been bigger and brighter if she'd had good dental care? Maybe if Physicians Mutual Insurance Company had been around back then, it'd be a different story. She could have gone to the dentist more, knowing she'd have help paying the bills. And those regular checkups might have found early signs of tooth decay or gum disease, costly problems that could keep anyone from smiling. Physicians Mutual offers affordable coverage that can help pay for cleanings and unexpected or expensive procedures you might need, like crowns or dentures. This is real dental insurance, not just a discount plan or for checkups only. There are no deductibles and there's no annual maximum. Plus, you can see any dentist you want. Call or go online today for a free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Get the dental care you need to help you stay healthy. For your free information kit with all the details, call us now or go to sendinfokit.com. When searching for your dream home, it's important to figure out what style of home you like. Victorian, cottage, Tudor. It's also important to protect your home and all the dreams that come with it. When looking for your dream home, keep in mind good things come in pairs, like dual sinks, Jonathan and me, and pairing your home and auto insurance, which can get you one step closer to achieving your dream. Pretty sure people call it bundling. Bundle your home and auto insurance and save up to 28%. Insure carefully, dream fearlessly. American Family Insurance. You're watching News 3 Now this morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for overall excellence in television. We're back at 611 this morning. New information out of Alabama at this hour after authorities have questioned a former F, uh, FedEx driver after hundreds of packages were found dumped in a ravine. Last week, sheriff's deputies found between 300 and 400 packages tossed into the ravine on private property about 40 miles outside of Birmingham. Investigators say the driver left the packages there at least six different times. That means FedEx is a victim of six different property theft cases. Authorities say there are also about 450 individual victims. FedEx says the driver no longer works for them. The shipping company is also attempting to deliver as many of those recovered packages as possible. Sports betting is now legal at the Oneida Casino in Green Bay. It's the first place in the state to legalize it or where you can do so. While illegal sports betting has been going on in the state for quite a while, this marks the first legal place to do it in Wisconsin. Currently, sports betting is only allowed at Oneida's main casino on Airport Drive in Green Bay. Meanwhile, in Las Vegas, they brought in more than $1 billion in sports bets for the first time in one month. The state's Gaming Control Board says October crushed the previous record of $786 million in September. Now, despite the Sin City's reputation as the center of the gambling world, New Jersey was actually the first to clear a billion dollars, doing it in both September and October. Home prices are up nearly 20% from a year ago. That's according to the S&P CoreLogic Case-Shiller National Home Price Index. Prices rose 19.5% in November compared to the year before. It's actually uh, not as much as it was uh, from October to the year before. Phoenix, Tampa, and uh, Miami, those were the markets with the strongest growth. Meantime, here in Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Realtors Association says home prices in the state are up 7.5%. We'll take a look at this new video this morning. The Japan Coast Guard rescuing a 69-year-old man who was stranded on his capsized boat for 22 hours just south of Japan. The man was working on a boat for a port construction project when it overturned on Saturday. Luckily, the man only sustained a minor injury to his ankle from that incident. Well, the 2021 Atlantic hurricane season has officially come to an end, and it was one for the record books. This season became only the third in history to use all of the names in the rotating seasonal list, joining 2005 and 2020 in that category. We ended the season with 21 named storms, seven hurricanes, and four major hurricanes, major hurricanes at category three or higher. The Atlantic hurricane season runs from June 1st to November 30th. 
614 right now. Chris Reese is here with your certified most accurate forecast. Take a look at that pattern ahead. December 1st, Chris. It's yeah, time. from one season to another. We just talked about hurricanes. Now let's talk about winter. That's our Super Bowl here in the upper Midwest. And I'm tracking a couple systems as we move in the days ahead that could bring our first blanket of snow around here. That being said, here's the latest trend over the last 24 hours. I've been paying attention to a system on Sunday and we actually have model agreement. Yesterday we had one model that had kind of a smackdown snowstorm for us and another one that was well to our north. Well, this is the model that had that snowstorm over us on Sunday. It's to the north and far enough north that we actually start to develop rain showers on Sunday afternoon. Now I'll tell you, this is a bit of a wild flop compared to what we saw out there yesterday. So we're still about five days out. We'll pay attention to see if there are any changes, but it's a trend. And I'll show you why I say that in a second. It has some back end snow showers and flurries into Monday, and then it has a system that stays to our south and works its way northward into Tuesday and Wednesday. That would bring some accumulating snowfall to our part of the state. Here's why I say it's a trend. Model number two also has that system to the north on Sunday. It's a bit faster though. So it actually has those wraparound snow showers and flurries into Sunday afternoon and evening. It also brings in that second system on Monday night and it keeps that accumulating snow around throughout Tuesday and into parts of Wednesday. In fact, it's actually a pretty significant snow event if you take that model verbatim. There's so much that will change between now and then, but for now we're still going to call it the first warn. Just a heads up on both of those systems being possible. I'm also watching some snow showers and rain out there now. A lot of it's not making it to the ground. We're going to be warming things up to about 50 into the afternoon, but we'll keep a lot of cloud cover in play too. Still only a wet spot or two early this morning as you are out and about the evening commutes are going going to be fine and even so far I'm not finding any huge issues. We have one stalled vehicle on I-94 as you begin to approach the east side of town. All right. Thanks Chris. 616 now the Badger men's basketball team set to play today after winning the Maui Invitational. The 23rd ranked Badgers are set to take on Georgia Tech today as the Big Ten ACC challenge continues. The Badgers look to build on that momentum before taking on in-state rival Marquette and the early Big Ten schedule. The game tonight, 8-15 in Atlanta. That'll be on ESPN2. Just about 6-17 this morning, the Madison Reading Project is nearing the halfway point in their community book drive and is also about halfway into their fundraising goal. The nonprofit is trying to collect 12,000 new books and raise $40,000 for kids in need this holiday season. They're asking people to drop off new or like new books at more than a dozen stations around Madison. Every single book donation to us and every single monetary donation, they all add up. And with this being the community book drive, um, we're hoping that many thousands of people will help pitch in. You can find a map of the Community Book Drive donation locations on our website, as well as more information on where the books will go. The Madison Reading Project also celebrating another milestone this week, donating their 250,000th book hey. on Monday. Congratulations. Tuesday's Day of Giving is come and gone, but our Christina Laurie introduces us to a group of women making a difference on not just Giving Tuesday, but every Tuesday of the year. After Black Friday and Cyber Monday comes Giving Tuesday, the newest post-Thanksgiving holiday and perhaps the most important. Ann Nelson is one of the masterminds, or rather the hands behind Remix, a group of volunteers that spends one day every week in the basement of Grace Lutheran Church, sewing mittens to sell at more than 30 local small businesses. We're taking something that would probably end up in the landfill and making something beautiful and useful out of it. Remits are made from old donated wool sweaters. No two pairs are alike and every pair is washed and shrunk before being sewed, lined with fleece, and hand finished with buttons. We estimate it takes between three and four hours for each pair between the whole process of washing and drying and cutting and sewing and then the hand sewing that goes on at the end. Thousands of these mittens are then delivered to small businesses across Madison and sold for $35 a pair. We've made $39,000 so far this year. But none of that money goes to these women. 
100% of the proceeds are donated to three local food pantries, St. Vincent de Paul, the Middleton Outreach Ministry, and the River, where the number of people in need of help is still triple what it was pre-pandemic. We'd love to sell uh, another 100,000 this year. We like thinking that we're helping. Well, you definitely are. Yeah. You don't need me to tell you that. Remits was started 12 years ago by a retired nurse, Janet Tupi. We profiled her last year, actually. You can still read all about how she started the group, which is a 100 dollar donation 12 years ago and to date it's raised more than half a million dollars just by selling these mittens. You can find all of the locations around Madison where they're sold at the map we've posted up on our website channel3000.com but for now reporting in Madison for News 3 Now I'm Christina Laurie. What a fun program. Doing good in the community. We love to see it. Yeah, and some cool looking mittens too. Yeah. I love that um, each one is unique. They are. There's something about that. And you're going to want them, especially this time of the year, right? Yeah, they look nice and toasty. 619. Coming up, Madison police looking to tackle the rise in crime in the youth. How they're looking to do that at 630. But first, how one city is coping with getting little to no snow every winter. We'll be right back. Cobison Buses, now hiring. After we backed that bus out of its stall and started driving, I just loved it. We really get a chance to get to know each other. Almost everyone has a different story about how they came to bus driving. So you really end up feeling like you're part of a family. Visit cobison.com to apply. We all dream of big things. A boat, a second home, or simply a better future for those around us. At the Burrish Group at UBS, we're invested in your dreams, no matter how big or small. Because we believe anything can be achieved with the right plan and goals in mind. Because when dreams come true, it's an experience that lasts a lifetime. Call the Burrish Group today. Here's to the holidays. Here's to the casserole queens and Santa's who saute. To the turkeys brined in beer and, well, just beer to the ones who do the most, and the ones who do the least, to the classic traditions, and whatever you call this one. This year, no matter how you holiday, Festival has you covered. Festival Foods, a Wisconsin tradition since 1946. Over these past months, we've all experienced changes and a great deal of reflection. But here's a change you can truly be excited about. Sonobello, America's number one cosmetic surgery specialist, permanently removes the fat from your stomach, hips and thighs, and back. I walked past mirrors. I didn't want to see any of that. I can't even tell you how excited I am about Sonobello and what they've done for me. I'm just living my best life now because I'm being the best that I can be. Sonobello's board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently. Schedule your free no obligation consultation. Plus, get $250 off instantly. You deserve to do something for you. Call 1-888-512-1753 or go to sonobello.com now. This holiday season, give $50 or more to charity and receive $400 off stressless Mayfair recliners and office chairs. $200 off any stressless recliner and office chair and $200 off each stressless sofa seat. Don't wait, it's time for Stressless. Shop StresslessFurniture.com today. Cobison Buses, now hiring. Working with Cobison, it's definitely been great because of the flexibility. If you do need time off, they work around you. They, they definitely try to make it a company that's based for you. Visit Cobison.com to apply. 623, I want to thank Brianne Olson for sharing her morning with us from Partyville. That old glory there, waving in the wind, a little snow on the ground, beautiful colors in the background. Windy day in Wisconsin. Yeah, it looks like a, a very brisk uh, <laughs> winter morning, although we're not quite to winter yet. Wisconsin. Oh, when the wind comes sweeping down the plain. 
and the way again. Oh. <laughs> Continue that. <laughs> I'm here all day, folks. Hey, you can share your morning with us. Just use the hashtag MyNews3Morning when you post on social media, and that way we can find it and pick our favorites. The fact that both of you started clapping at the same time just <laughs> made my day right there. Also, welcome to the couch, Chris Reese. Thank you. Yeah, there Thank we go. You. It's Look been at this. a very long time since so I've been, been at the couch. So. It's good to have a little Josh sandwich going on this morning, so <laughs> you love that. <laughs> You're also going to love this story down in Albuquerque, New Mexico. So they don't get a lot of heavy snowfall, but that isn't stopping them from making a snowman. It's uh, it's made out of tumbleweeds. Mm -hmm. Check this out. <laughs> Tumbleweed Man making its debut for the 2021 holiday season. Okay. It's put together every year alongside I-40. The tradition began back in 1995. Uh, it makes it the 26th anniversary of the snowman tumbleweed man there you go you know when uh <laughs> when you don't have the snow you gotta you do gotta, something, I guess. gotta do something so earlier i talked about the fact that i've never actually had a real white christmas and so i've always wanted to go sledding on christmas hasn't happened in my life yet i can't believe that so i went sledding with like leaves one year down a hill <laughs> they were like wet leaves yeah we also had like a leaf fight instead of a snowball fight oh my goodness <laughs> On Christmas, so that's sad. I that know. makes so, me so sad I to know. think about. I'm proposing a 608 segment. As soon as we get that snow, we gotta go. All four of us go sledding. I'm in. I'm in. Have a little up, race man. down Elber Park. That sounds pretty hey. fun to me. I'm there. Hopefully, we have to do it. Just hopefully, let me know when. we don't take out Mark <laughs> chilling at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Mark! We're coming down. Oh, I feel like if we get Leah in on it, it's gonna be very competitive. You know, oh, yeah. she's that's gonna be problem. out for blood. I was like, I don't know. I I'm sledding for the bliss <laughs> of like gliding through some snow. And then Leah's dog will probably be there too. Baskin will yeah. probably be riding Come along. Baskin so, along, because all right, they're inseparable. So. <laughs> Speaking of snow, we had a couple snowflakes Yeah, on here. we did see some. As you head out to the bus stop this morning, a lot of that's starting to warm up to where you're dealing with rain showers, at least here in Madison, because we're going up to 50 by the end of the day. But we are in the 30s right now, and we're still tracking some of those rain and snow showers throughout parts of the state, although most of those are starting to move out of the picture. We'll keep a lot of cloud cover around, but we're talking about snow. We're talking about Christmas. I've got to look at the month of December when we come back at 630. Sounds like a plan. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. RHD Plumbing presents their Titletown Winter Getaway Contest. Win a two-night stay in Green Bay's Titletown, including food, drink, and entertainment gift cards. Visit the contest page on channel3000.com and enter today. Hey, guys. Hey, Dad. You ready? This holiday, U.S. Cellular is doing a little something extra to keep everyone connected. Right now, choose any phone from any brand at any of our stores for free. Plus, save big with unlimited data for our best price of the season, just $30 a month. Now that's a deal to cheer about. Feel the locally grown joy from U.S. Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Trilogy for COPD. <coughs> Birds flying high, you know how I feel. If you've been playing down your COPD, it's a new dawn, it's a new day. It's time to make a stand. Start a new day with Trilogy. And I'm feeling good. No one's daily COPD medicine has the power to treat COPD in as many ways as Trilogy. With three medicines in one inhaler, Trilogy helps people breathe easier and improves lung function. It also helps prevent future flare-ups. Trilogy won't replace a rescue inhaler for sudden breathing problems. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure before taking it. Do not take Trilogy more than prescribed. Trilogy may increase your risk of thrush, pneumonia, and osteoporosis. Call Call your doctor if worsened breathing, chest pain, mouth or tongue swelling, problems urinating, vision changes, or eye pain occur. Take a stand and start a new day with Trilogy. Ask your doctor about Once Daily Trilogy and save at Trilogy.com. In one instant, an accident can change your life. Tin Grass Thompson & Walks has assembled the top award-winning personal injury lawyers to win the biggest settlements and awards for Wisconsin victims. If you've been injured, contact Gin Grass Thompson & Walks for a free consultation. 
Stanley Steamer loves Madison, Wisconsin. I'm Paul Ashick, local owner of Stanley Steamer here in Madison. We've been proudly cleaning your homes and businesses for over 30 years and will continue to keep your carpet, upholstery, area rugs, hard floors, and air ducts clean for many more. We strive to provide the best quality in both the services we provide and the equipment we use. That's why you've trusted us to keep Madison and southwestern Wisconsin homes cleaner, healthier, and more beautiful place to live. Call and book a cleaning today. Stanley Steamer gets your home cleaner. need some variety let us make life a little bit easier for you fresh ingredients family recipes and no reservations required absolutely delicious heat and eat take home meals from quick trip quick trip we got you covered This morning, a rise in crime among youth, the solution Madison police are working on. And the DNR releasing final numbers from the gun deer season. We'll tell you how many bucks were bagged this year. Have you been dreaming of a white Christmas? Welcome to December, folks. We're taking a look at the month, and we're talking about those white Christmas chances. There you go. Happy December 1st, everybody. Welcome to News 3 Now this morning. I'm Chris Stanford. And I'm Josh Ryder. Lee Lynch on vacation, and we'll be back on Monday. This morning, Madison police say they have a new way to try to end the cycle of crime happening among local teens. Just yesterday, Madison police officers arrested a 13-year-old for driving a stolen vehicle. Police say the teenager crashed it on a Beltline off-ramp and ran from the scene. Officers say this crash happened right around 7.30 in the morning on the John Nolan Drive exit ramp. Thanks to tips from witnesses, officers eventually found the teenager hiding in a stairwell inside of a nearby building. They say it smelled like marijuana. According to a blog post, a Madison police captain writes, as a community, we should be extremely concerned over a 13-year-old driving a stolen car during rush hour while high. Madison police say they just received a $125,000 grant to proactively end this kind of crime among kids before it starts. It's called the wraparound approach. All the money will go towards building resources directly into the homes of those families whom officers identify as needing the assistance. Madison police have partnered with RISE, a local early childhood initiative program in an effort to best evaluate each individual situation. We know that there's a lot of complex needs out there right now for families. They're facing a lot. The kids are facing a lot of stress, so are their families. And so to have this opportunity with MPD in partnership to wrap around services for kids who need it, we couldn't be more excited about it. The program is set to start in January and will focus on a small number of families. Family and friends are remembering Parker Cruz this morning, a young man who disappeared in the Wisconsin River. There was a memorial service for Cruz and Black Earth yesterday. 22-year-old Parker vanished last summer while trying to help a boater in distress. While Parker's family continues to search for his remains, they're grateful for everyone who's reached out. It's overwhelming. It's amazing, the gratitude we have as a family. We've been in contact with so many people that we never would have been otherwise. If Parker's family finds his body, they say they'll try to assemble a River Valley water rescue team. The DNR is releasing new data from this gun deer hunt season. Officials say the general theme this time around was quiet. You know, harvest numbers um, in, in most cases didn't match up to last year. So quiet in terms of uh, the number of shots, you know, heard in some regions. But it was nice to see the, the uptick in the buck harvest in the northern forest. The DNR says about 8% fewer deer were harvested this year. That's about 15,000 deer. The DNR also says as of Sunday night, only a little over 808,000 licenses were sold. That's about a 1.5% decline from last year. It's time again to guess when Lake Mendota will freeze over. The Clean Lakes Alliance is kicking off its annual Mendota Freeze Contest. Right now, all of Madison Lakes remain open. However, experts say 165 years of data shows the median date Madison's largest lake freezes over is three weeks away on December 20th. Experts say the lake always freezes over, but some years it only rains frozen for a short time. If you want to make your prediction, you can visit MendotaFreeze.org after 7 o'clock this morning to enter. All correct guesses will be entered into a drawing for a $1,000 Land's End gift card. Here's some information that may help you out. The earliest freeze date was back on November 23rd. 
1880. The latest freeze date was January 30th, 1932. Last year, the lake froze on January 3rd. When the lakes freeze, they become Dane County's largest parks. Any predictions? Uh, I don't know. I think it may be a while. I think it's going to be a while, too. I bet you it's at least after the new year this time around. Yeah, I like December 20th, the median date. That sounds about right. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Getting in time for the holidays. I know Chris Reese always... Hoping for a white Christmas here in the 608, and I know you're taking a look at those stats as we enter December. I've hoped for a white Christmas for 27 years, <laughs> and I haven't had one yet. It's so, coming, Chris. It's going to happen. It's only a matter of time, especially in Wisconsin, and my family keeps asking, when are you coming back home for Christmas? And I say, until it snows in Wisconsin, Christmas is happening here. So that being said, let's look at the normals. Here's what we typically would expect for the month of December. At the start of December, temperatures are in the upper 30s for highs, lows in the 20s. By the end, your highs are in the 20s and your lows are in the teens. Also, December typically averages about 13 to 14 inches of snow as well. And we already have chances for snow in the forecast for the month. Over the next six to 10 days, though, we are looking at temperatures favoring things being warmer than normal. We're also looking at storm systems that'll favor us being wetter than normal over the next six to 10 days. Here's a part of that. It's the upper air pattern. We're warm now. We get cold for the weekend and even colder early next week only to warm up again. More warmth builds right back in, but guess what comes behind it? Another shot of cold air. Stop me if you've heard me say roller coaster in the past two months. We are still on. <laughs> we are still on our roller coaster ride, and it is going to continue for us. <laughs> and when you're on a roller coaster ride like that, when it comes to temperatures overall, you tend to trend a little bit warmer than normal. And that's why we're expecting that for the month of December. At the same time, you get more storm seasons or storm systems, and so that's why we anticipate near normal to just above normal precipitation into the month of December. All right, what does that mean for Christmas? Typically, we see highs in the 20s and lows in the teens. Well, our snowiest Christmas in 1950 was just under five inches of snow. But in southern Wisconsin, we have anywhere from about that 50 to 75 percent chance of seeing snow on the ground for Christmas morning. Over the last 10 years, eight of them have featured snow. Five of them have had at least one inch of snow on the ground. So we see the history for featuring a white Christmas. And that brings me back to the bold prediction, by the way, that I made on October 25th, that all three holidays, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year would feature either snow falling or snow already on the ground from a previous snow. We hit that nail on the head when it came to New Year's Day. What about Christmas Day? For now, I'm going to give us a 60% chance of a white Christmas. It's the low end of the climatology, but when you're going to have the wild temperature swings that I expect in the month of December, you've got to time things out perfectly to get that white Christmas. Bottom line, December continues our roller coaster. will be milder overall, cooler in the last 10 days of the month, and warmer and milder does not mean less snow. All right, breaking it all down this morning. Thanks, Chris. Today marks the 33rd annual World AIDS Day, with Dink County doctors joining millions around the globe to reflect on the lives lost and the progress made. Our McKenna Alexander joins us to share the impacts of this disease. McKenna, good morning. Hey, good morning. AIDS has caused 6 million deaths across the globe and over 700,000 just here in the U.S. HIV physicians at UW Health say today is about reflecting on those that lost their lives to the disease, as well as celebrating the significant strides made when it comes to AIDS treatment and management. Though they add today is also about looking toward the future and what still needs to be done. Too often, uh, many vulnerable segments of our population, the stigmatized ones, the excluded ones, have been left behind. And this is where we have to work going uh, forward. Alongside minimizing these health care gaps, Raj says the ultimate goal for the future is finding a cure. UW Health's HIV Care and Prevention Program is hosting a variety of free virtual events in recognition of World AIDS Day. For a full list of those programs, visit channel3000.com. All right, McKenna Alexander, thank you very much. And uh, welcome to the team. Uh, this is your first morning as uh, one of our reporters on the show. We're so happy to have you. 
The city of Milwaukee this morning, their health department is issuing a new mask advisory. It says all individuals, regardless of vaccination status or past infection, should wear a mask when in public and in indoor settings. The city's recommendation is proactive and in a response to the expected arrival of the Omicron variant. An FDA advisory panel has approved a recommendation for Merck's experimental antiviral pill to treat COVID-19 for emergency use authorization. Members of the committee voted 13 to 10 in favor of the pill, which is for use in adults with mild to moderate symptoms who are at risk of severe disease or hospitalizations. The FDA is not required to follow the committee's guidance, but it usually does. A final ruling by the agency could come in a matter of days. Washington Post reporting this morning that the president is considering new testing requirements for Americans returning from overseas regardless of vaccination status. President Biden also reportedly considering a self-quarantine requirement for seven days, even if you test negative. In the meantime, Moderna's CEO warns he doesn't believe his company's vaccine will be as effective against Omicron as it was against the Delta variant. COVID testing should be covered by insurance, but some people are paying massive bills for it. They tell you you're negative, then they ask you why you're here, and then they look in your ears, nose, and mouth, and the next thing you know, you get a bill. Non-COVID related. Ahead on CBS Mornings, Anna Warner reports on why you might be paying. That's right here on News 3 Now, starting at 7 o'clock. 639 now. During a turbulent school year of Madison East High School, the district is working to put students at ease. In this week's Eye on Education, we're taking a look at the district's therapy dog program. Bonnie is one of two of the district's certified WAGS dogs, trained in critical response. WAGS stands for Wisconsin Academy for Graduate Service Dogs. As you can see, students warm right up to her. Bonnie partners up with one of the district's licensed clinical social workers. This last year, East High has seen an uptick in fights, student protests, and the district reassigning the principal. So Bonnie's been visiting to help. Bonnie is trained to provide lots of love and unconditional non-judgment and positive regard. So she has been trained as a service dog, a, a great um, opportunity for a kid who's maybe struggling to just get some additional support. As you can see, she's like melting into me right now. What a good girl, right? Bonnie spends time at schools across the district. Earlier this year, Gina took Bonnie to West High School after Simon Balesi was killed in a car crash, along with three Middleton High School students. The therapy dogs visit when they're needed, and sometimes they just pop in to say hi. So adorable. Isn't I just she? want a hug I by know. Bonnie myself. <laughs> we lift our spirits for sure. 640 now as we take a look outside. Yeah, not too bad out there today. Uh, you may see a few fake flakes flying around this morning as they push on out of the viewing area. We're going to take a look at our next shot, the first real shot of some snow coming up. And we'll also tell you the Madison Ethics Board ruling on a candy bar controversy involving the city's chief assessor. McGann Furniture in Baraboo has a question for you. Have you ever bought a piece of furniture in a box and then had to put it together yourself? We know it's not fun. At McGann's, everything is professionally inspected and assembled before pickup or delivery. Goodbye headaches, and there's no extra charge for assembly. And remember, at McGann's, we don't inflate prices only to mark them down for a sale. Stop in soon and discover the difference. You'll be glad you did. McGann Furniture, downtown Baraboo. I matched with this cutie on a dating site. We texted all the time, but never met up. Then he asked to send him gift cards for a plane ticket to see me. And that's when I remembered a tip I got from the AARP Fraud Watch Network. Gift cards? This is a romance scam. Spent that money on self-care instead. Recognize fraud sooner, so your money lives longer. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. You've heard that an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but you still need to see your dentist because getting good dental care is important to your overall health. You know dental bills can take a big bite out of your budget, especially if you're retired or on Medicare. Even a simple cleaning can cost $200. 
and other procedures like crowns and root canals can cost hundreds, even thousands more. But affordable dental insurance from Physicians Mutual Insurance Company can help. Give us a call or go online for this free information kit with all the details. This isn't just a discount plan. This is real dental insurance that can help pay for over 350 covered procedures like cleanings, fillings, crowns, even dentures. There are no deductibles, no annual maximum, and you can see any dentist you like. So don't wait. Call now or go online for your free information kit from Physicians Mutual. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. The holidays are doubly important this year. So make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's cheese. Pick and save. Prep. Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. Where have all the truck drivers gone? There's not a trucking company that doesn't have a sign out help one. Of Mark Kane takes you inside a local diesel driving school to find out what's causing the driver shortage and what's being done to get them back on the road. Thursday on News 3 Now at 6. Attention Dish Network customers. WISC-TV's agreement with Dish ends December 1st. If a new agreement isn't reached, your access to local news and CBS programming will be eliminated. Learn more at channel3000.com. You're watching News 3 Now This Morning. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. Hi, Chris. Tim and Bowie from Spring Green. Chris, plan my day. Look at the dog. A beautiful, beautiful video there. We're looking at some cloud cover this morning, and we'll see cloud cover hang around for most of today. We'll warm things up, though. Upper 40s right around 50 once this little wintry mix that we're dealing with this morning moves out of the picture, and it's already starting to do so. We've seen the rain generally come to an end on the west side. We've seen a lot of our snowflakes. Well, really, they were flurries, but they're wrapping up in areas to our north as well. 36 in Madison right now. Temperatures over the next 12 hours warm up to 50 right around 3 o'clock or so before we'll start to see them cool down only into about the 40s for your overnight lows tonight. In fact, we go down to about 43. Future Track wants to show some showers, but the air is generally drier, so I'm expecting just clouds tonight. We'll see more sun tomorrow as we warm up to about 52. Beyond that, I am watching the weekend. We'll see a little system trying to sneak by on Sunday with the chance of rain and snow showers, then perhaps another system into Tuesday that could bring some accumulating snow our way. Next week overall, whether we see the snow or not, looks colder. And if we don't see the snow next week, it's because we'll be even colder than what we see out there in the forecast at the moment. 28, that is your forecast high for Wednesday. It's like half of what we're going to be at today. Yeah. December's the roller coaster here. ride continues, folks. Hang on. All right, Chris Reese, thank you. 646 right now, the driver in the Waukesha parade tragedy will get a new attorney. The lawyer for Darrell Brooks has requested to be withdrawn. Your Honor, I am again formally moving to withdraw based upon this conflict of interest. The attorney Joseph Damas says he's connected to the victims in the Waukesha tragedy. Brooks will be back in court on December 20th. He faces six counts of first degree intentional homicide. On Thursday, the county district attorney will publicly address Brooks' low $1,000 bond from before the crash. We've been following the events in the Waukesha uh, tragedy very closely, and of course, we'll continue to push updates through our mobile app. You can download it for free today in your app store. Madison's ethics board has tossed out a candy complaint against the city's chief assessor. That complaint accuses her of trying to influence members of the Board of Review with a bowl of candy. Developer Terrence Wall filed that complaint against Chief City Assessor Michelle Drea in mid-November, saying that the bowl of candy that she brought to an October meeting was an attempt to influence members to vote against him on objections to property assessments. To endorse this behavior as acceptable is to open Pandora's box, making it possible for anyone to offer gifts to board members or government officials. Ultimately, this is not about candy, but about something more nefarious. It is about a pattern of threats and attempted administer in intimidation of a public official to improperly influence assessment. 
Now, the chief city assessor says that she puts out the candy to make sure people aren't hungry during meetings and to help make meetings more friendly for homeowners who may find them intimidating. A group of local teens unveiling a new work of art in Elver Park. Madison's Parks Department had to approve the mural, which is an original design by the Wisconsin Youth Company. They decided on a Black Lives Matter theme. They say it best represents the Elver Park Neighborhood Center and community. A lot of our youth and their friends like to hang out here and we would love for them just to see this every single day they come down here, knowing this is the community they love and want to give back to. The teens also wanted to pay homage to Martin Luther King Jr., adding one of his famous quotes, the time is always right to do what is right. So true. A special sundown Hanukkah celebration last night at Hilldale Shopping Center. Speeches by local dignitaries, videos, music, food, and entertainment, all culminating in the lighting of a 10-foot tall menorah on the third night of Hanukkah. The most wonderful time of year all the way around. Yeah, it looks like a fun event last night. A lot of folks. What a party. Love to see all those little kids there. 648 right now. Ahead in the morning sprint, what to know before heading to your neighborhood quick trip in the new year. First, though, we want to say happy birthday to Adeline and all the kiddos turning three today. Thanks for celebrating with News 3 Down this morning. Look Who's 3 is sponsored by Three Bears Resort, indoor water park and conference center in Warrens, Wisconsin. Black Friday mattress deals have been extended for one final week at Ashley Home Store. It's your last chance to save up to 65% off top brands and get $1,100 in instant savings on select mattresses. Plus, pay no interest financing for up to five years on luxury brands. Only at Ashley Home Store. Isn't it great how swinging through Culver's drive through marks the unofficial start to family time? How biting into a hot off the grill butter burger makes worries melt away. And how a fresh frozen custard concrete mixer puts a smile on your face every time. Here, a meal you didn't have to make is a meal made fresh for you. And being greeted with a smile, even beneath a mask, makes all the difference. There's a reason we put so much care into our food. That reason is you. Welcome to Delicious. Big news for heartburn sufferers. Introducing Zantac 360 Degrees with a new formula that has the number one doctor-recommended medicine approved to both prevent and relieve heartburn. It works in as little as 15 minutes and lasts. New Zantac 360. That's not bacon. It's sausage. Whoa. Behold, Johnsonville Sausage Strips. Sausage that looks and cooks like bacon. It's a meaty miracle. Find them in the bacon section, even though they're sausage. One of our biggest sales of the year ends soon. The Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Get huge savings on already low prices, up to 50% off. Plus, see what's new. What's in stock? And save 25% on our great accessories. Give your home that special touch. Huge store-wide savings at the Thanksgiving sale at Slumberland Furniture. Hurry and soon. And for better sleep, come to Slumberland Sleep Solutions and see how easy it is now to shop for a mattress. With a Ford F-150 and an available Pro Power onboard generator, you're not just ready, you're holiday ready. Get a Ford F-150 with zero for 60 and 500 retail bonus cash, plus complimentary maintenance when you sign up for Ford Pass Rewards. See your Ford dealer today. We protect more than the car you drive. We protect the dreams that drive you. The It's Not Where We Visit, but Who We Visit policy from American Family Insurance. Into the road trip. Protect yourself on the road with a travel peace of mind package. Included when you enroll in the Know Your Drive program. Get a quote or find an agent at amfam.com. Black Friday deals have been extended for one final week at Ashley Home Store. It's your last chance to save up to 65% off doorbusters and special deals on our hottest looks store-wide. Plus, no interest financing for five years. Only at Ashley Home Store. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. 
652 time for the morning sprint. One inch in gun barrel size led to dropping one legal gun possession charge during Kyle Rittenhouse's jury trial. State Democrats now want to fix what they say is a loophole in the state's gun laws for children. The new bill would preserve the ability for minors to use guns for hunting, target shooting, and other supervised activities. It is adding some clarifying language that this law only applies when they're actually doing those things. Madison police say they just received a $125,000 grant. It's to implement a new crime prevention approach. They call it the wraparound approach to prevent crimes from being committed by teenagers. The police department said it wanted to stop the cycle of violence by providing resources directly to younger siblings of those who have committed crimes so those kids don't follow the criminal path. The DNR says about 8% fewer deer were harvested this year during the gun deer season. That's about 15,000 deer. Bucks were down about 1.3% and the antlerless deer take was down about 13%. The DNR also says as of Sunday night, only a little over 808,000 licenses were sold. That's about a 1.5% decline from last year. Officials say the general theme of this year's hunt was quiet. Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell, Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, warning a Senate panel that uncertainty over the supply chain and the Omicron COVID-19 variant may cause inflation rates to rise into the new year. That sent shockwaves through Wall Street yesterday. The Dow falling more than 600 points, a loss of nearly 2%. The variant also, uh, it's yet to be detected in the U.S., but it has been found in more than 20 countries, including Canada. Quick trip, changing up how you can pay at the pump next year. Starting January 3rd, everyone will be required to prepay for gas. They say the move is des designed to prevent drive-offs. All stores' fuel pumps will be turned to prepay or pay at the pump only. Diesel pumps will still have the pay inside option. Customers can still use cash or check to prepay for fuel inside the store. An FDA committee voted 13 to 10 to recommend emergency use authorization for a COVID-19 treatment pill. According to drug maker Merck, the pill reduces the risk of hospitalization or death by 30%. Next, the FDA will consider the committee's recommendation. It doesn't have to follow the committee's advice, but often does. A Senate panel wants the CEOs of major airlines to testify about recent mass flight cancellations. The Senate Commerce Committee has invited seven airline executives to testify at a hearing on December 8th at 10 in the morning. Airlines received billions in federal aid and loans in exchange for keeping employees on the job during the pandemic. Canada is facing a bit of a problem. Uh, their uh, leading trade group says it's tapping into its reserves now of maple syrup to deal with supply chain issues. The government says it's releasing about 50 million pounds of syrup, almost half of its stockpile. Canada produces about 73% of all maple syrup in the world. Officials say sales are up 21% this year compared to 2020. A labor group says Amazon massively underreported COVID cases contracted at work. The group is asking OSHA now to investigate, saying Amazon had at least 20,000 employees test positive for the virus last year. Amazon isn't challenging the number of cases, but says that the report is painting a false picture of how things have been handled in its warehouses. Today, the Supreme Court will hear arguments concerning a Mississippi law banning abortions beyond 15 weeks of pregnancy. It could set the stage for the court to overturn the precedent set by Roe v. Wade. The landmark 1973 decision guaranteed a woman's right to end a pregnancy. CBS Mornings will have more coverage just minutes away. Right on cue as we approach 7 o'clock. The wintry mix that we've been tracking is starting to move out of the state. We're still going to see at least a little bit of this hanging around for early parts of the morning, but you already see right here in Madison that the precipitation has generally come to an end. Some light showers being reported at the airport. We're at 36 right now. We'll continue to warm things up over the next 12 hours to about 50, and then we go to 52. For tomorrow, a beautiful day on tap for your Thursday. Colder by the weekend. All right, Chris, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Happy hump day, folks. Make it a great Wednesday.